everyone, welcome back to the channel and we've got some news to talk about today surrounding Liverpool women, um, both good and bad unfortunately. Um, we'll start off with the good news, start on a high, Amy Rogers has extended her contract with Liverpool women, she will be staying on. Um, just another player, signed, sealed, ready, ready. Delivered, I'm yours! Yeah, I was hoping to finish. Um, <laughs> Just ready for next season. Um, yeah, she's just she she said in a in an interview afterwards that you know they want to put last season behind them all. Every single person who signed a new contract has said that. Everyone involved with the club has said that. Um, but I think the one thing is that she's such a, a young player and a young talent. Um, obviously, with us losing Charles as like a young player coming up through the squad, you couldn't really afford to lose another one. Um, so it's just nice that she's put pen to paper on a new deal. Yeah, for sure. I think on the, the thing that I, that springs to mind when I think about Amy Rogers when she scored that goal against Everton at the end yeah. of the not the season just gone the season before that and it just was like oh my god the crowd went wild like yeah. I think she's definitely got a lot more to prove as a as a player and as a, as a professional. I think she, I think personally herself she probably would have been liked to give her more opportunities last season. I think we did see her on the bench more times than than not yeah. but obviously in those games she played and she looked really bright I think it might moving to the championship might give her a bigger opportunity to play more games and gain some more experience obviously she's involved with the England setup as well so that's hopefully going to progress and she'll work, work alongside other players that don't just play for Liverpool but other coaches as well so yeah, I think it's it's nice to see that we are keeping on to our younger talent as well. Obviously, it was a bit of a blow when Charles left because she's probably one of our, the, the, the best younger players that we had. Um, but I, I see a lot of potential for, for Amy Rogers and I think for Hughes and Emma uh, Humphreys both tweeted about it as well, saying that they're glad to be keeping such a young talent and hopefully can help her grow into a really good player. Yeah, well, she said it means so much. Obviously, it's such a great club, and I'm just really happy to extend it for another year and just keep going. This is a massive club with such a big fan base. It's a special club, and it's a great place to be, and I'm really happy to be here. So, obviously, she's she's buzzing to sign a new deal. Um, Vicky Jepson said Amy started last season in our start, starting lineup, but picked up a back injury, which affected her season. She's a young international who we feel has great potential, is really professional to deal with, and is a real team player. I'm delighted that she's extending her stay with Liverpool women. So yeah, that's like another thing to note as well. Like she's obviously involved with like the England setup as well, and um, so like she's definitely one to watch for the future for for England as well. It's good that at the end of there it says they're all. Uh, joining back up on Monday, yeah, um, which we really got. I know City Kate, the the City girls um, started at the start of this week or maybe a few days ago. Um, but just on that note, it's great to see them all going back in. But in terms of Amy, yeah, I think everyone um, is really sort of positive about her and and says in terms of trying to build up her her, her professionalism and her her abilities. I think she definitely needs more game time for sure. But when she's played in that deeper holding role, she's looked really good. Like putting into tackles is something that she's really, really good at, and sort of holding up the play, holding, slowing down the play if it's going in the other, the other team's sort of possession and, and route. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how more she progresses. Um, yeah. But we know she's got the professionalism. Like we spoke to her at the end of last season when she scored that goal at the derby. Yeah, and her focus really is just taking every game as it comes and and really working hard as a team. And I think that's what you want when you you're sort of um, bringing up a new player and seeing them them flourish in different ways. So yeah, I think it's it's all pretty positive, and I'm hoping she gets a bit more game time next season. Yeah, I think that's something good for like young players as well. Like obviously, you want to have like high expectations for yourself, but sometimes if you, if you set those expectations too high and you don't achieve maybe what what you think. Um, you should at the start of the season then when the season does finish and maybe you haven't made that many appearances for whatever reason or you didn't score that many goals it can sort of like affect you like mentally a bit as well so it's important that like she doesn't set the bar too high for herself but also she does put in maximum performances at the same time do you know what I mean? Yeah she's realistic in her approach yeah. and I think it's as a young player these days in football especially it's so 
easy to get wrapped up in not just the lifestyle but the the, the media and, and everything like that probably more so in the men's game but as the women's game is evolving it's it's getting it's getting there so I think it's yeah um it's easy to get sort of lost in it but she seems very head headstrong her head screwed on properly so yeah looking looking forward to seeing what's what's kind of gonna gonna happen in her future yeah but it's good that we've got her and no one else yeah yeah exactly um on a bit more of a sour note then um it was announced this morning that Gemma Perfield will be leaving the club um so I was really sad about this one I was, I'm sad to see Gemma go she's um She's a, she's a, she's an amazing obviously left back at signed for us in January of last year after coming out of like the American college system. Like she was she was like a fresh new player like in January. I think like she came at the right time for us. Obviously made like an instant impression on like the club and the fans and like she was definitely a, a fan favourite amongst everyone. Everyone always had nothing but good things to say about her. But you know, at times at the clubs come to an end, but just a, a, another another really talented young player, no, only twenty three. Who's who's leaving us? Yeah, this one was a bit a bit sort of painful because she's been at the club throughout the whole time that we've been doing this. Yeah, and um, I don't think we've ever had a bad word to say about her. Like she's always a hundred percent involved in everything that she did and a hundred percent in the zone sort of thing. And um, yeah. She gave us some great memories, obviously, when she, I think, in a, was it a debut against Millwall where she scored all those world yeah, goals? I think, yeah. Something like that. It might not have been a debut, but she definitely scored against She them. scored on a debut, I think yeah. Dons as well. Yeah. But yeah, it, I'm, I'm really gutted, and I think it, it kind of leaves us in a bit of a situation, as you, you said to me earlier off camera, like, we only have one left back now, and, um, we know how difficult it has been with injuries pre- in the season just gone, and we were co- we were kind of at the bare bones for a while. So, yeah. yeah, it leaves us in a bit of a situation. Whether the club's got someone else lined up, we don't know, and I don't think we will know until it gets announced. But it does leave us in a bit of a pickle. And I thought she was brilliant in terms of both defensively. Maybe she was definitely better going forward, I think, than she was defensively. But equally, both both parts to a game. I thought were were a really good stand, and then any other club would be lucky to have her. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, that's the big thing for me. I think not, obviously not just missing Gemma, but also like trying to fill that gap because you know Robe did suffer a lot last season. She did have injuries. Obviously Gemma was out injured for for a while, so that that space was sort of you know Robe had no other choice but to sort of be fit for every match. And, you know, obviously those games where I think Roberts played left-back, Ashley Hodgson played left-back against Blackburn, when in, I think it was in the Cup. So, like, you know, you can see we we were short in that in that area. And obviously, like like you said, you don't know if the club's got something lined up. But I'd like to think they do, because thinking about it does, like, stress me out a little bit, thinking, well, if Robe gets injured, who, who are you putting there? Do you know what I mean? And so many times we saw Robe at centre back as well, and it was brilliant. So you never know if she's going to transfer to that position, and then it leaves an even bigger gap. But as you said, I definitely would like to think that they have got someone signed up because I don't think they'd let her go if they didn't because it yeah. just put, your, put, put themselves in a, in a worse off position, in my opinion, anyways. But yeah, it'll be weird not to see her um, around. I think injuries really kind of hit us hit her hard obviously she had a knee injury last season as well so these things happen in in football and it's how you sort of come back from it and she came back strong and I'm sure she'll progress whatever club she ends up next at yeah definitely obviously we we gave her her first professional contract and and rightly so so I'm sure there'll be a um, a couple of clubs who would have been keeping tabs on her and I'll be interested in getting a signature so we'll just have to wait and see where she goes who she ends up at whether that's in the WSL you know, you just never know where she's going to end up. But um, we wish her all the best. Well, she'll be be a big miss, but hopefully she 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 um she goes somewhere we can we can watch her. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Imagine. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below on Amy Rogers signing a new deal and Gemma Pearfield depart on the club. Um, we also uploaded two new videos yesterday. One being three videos in a week. I know you lucky bloggers. 
Honestly. Um, episode 92 of the podcast went out and the first instalment of Keeping Up With The NWSL also went out yesterday. So go and check those out and show them some love. And we'll see you all next time with a new video. Bye.